welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jandy and I am the Jandy Colleen part of this channel. Um, I'm the DIYer and creator and um, I actually have an interior design background and have been refinishing furniture for as long as I can remember. Um, and so I thought I would bring this to you in, in this form, in video form and in, on YouTube and um, teach you some of the tips and tricks that I know. Um, from from being a creator and a DIYer and a woodworker and and an interior designer and all of those things um, So welcome if you like DIY content and home content then subscribe and like and comment down below um, In this video, we're going to be doing an IKEA hack with using um, one of the IKEA Daybeds, I'm not 100% sure that IKEA still sells, sells this daybed, but you definitely can get it on Kijiji and Facebook marketplace here in Canada, I, that's where I bought mine. Um, I know several other people that own the same bed and they have um, used it or bought it from there as well. Um, you can also, there are other beds that you could buy to do this with, but this is just what I had at my disposal. Um, so basically we took um, an Ikea daybed and we turned it into a sectional sofa in our living room, kind of like the inspiration photos that you're gonna see next. So I will walk you through my inspiration and um, the plan that I had to be able to create this um, as we are all stuck at home during these times in Ontario where we are in our second lockdown and there are three of us and a dog that live here in this um, two bedroom apartment so we needed a little bit more space to be in the living room and to live in the living room and have our home work for us so we need to change that up a little bit so that's why we created this bed or this sofa from the bed and uh, I hope you just enjoy this video and if you have any questions or comments just leave those down below and I will get to those after. Thank you so much. So for this uh, my, my plan literally was to take out part of the day bed and turn it into the other the L shape of the sectional sofa. Um, so you can just see how I've planned this out and having the one twin bed and then the other twin bed. Um, I did this on an app called Procreate on my iPad. Once I got the room organized and the day bed apart, I had to reinforce the one side. This side of the bed would normally rest on the other half of the bed frame, but because we took the two apart, we had to reinforce and put legs on this one. Um, in order to do this, I used two three foot long boards that were two inches wide and one inch thick. And I screwed all of the horizontal wood slats into those boards from the top. I then added three legs to this side of the bed, which would match the other side of the frame. For this, I used two two by twos that were, um, I think eight inches thick and that I had already cut from another project. Here you can see we're adding a skirt. This part maybe wasn't needed for the support, but it did finish off the frame nicely. For this, I used a six inch board by 77 inches that I got cut at the hardware store. And it again was one inch thick. <clears throat> when we first turned the bed around, we realized that it needed a little bit more support in the center. As this frame was not intended to support itself, I figured we should put the brace down the center. For this, we used a 5 inch board by a 72 inch board, um, 1 inch thick, and screwed it to the wood slats on the top. I, would, I also added another foot in the center, um, but this is not needed.
To match the corner brace of the main bed, we chose to use 2x2s two in 72 inch length. 72 inch length. Before heading to the hardware store, I like to plan out my order and make sure that all the measurements will work. You'll see what we did here was we had to cut the two end pieces to match the height of the main frame and we tried to add in the six foot length of wood to both sides and you can see that really didn't work. Um, you can also see that there is a giant um, warped piece of wood on the second one. <laughs> so we went to several Home Depots and because everybody is doing home improvement projects right now this is all the wood that we could get. Uh, we didn't film cutting the next Part. We did cut that bottom one and we cut it so that it would match the two end pieces and we could put it in the center so that there would be two rectangles instead of a long, two long rectangles, so there would be two smaller two rectangles. Um, for the for the mattresses, we just used two foam eight, eight inch thick mattresses that we got off of Amazon um, and we wanted a very bright and inviting look um, for the sofa as we've had darker sofas in the past and they don't really work in this room because we don't have a lot of windows. So we just went to Value Village and we picked up two um, twin sheets in white. They were washed, of course. Um, here I'm just putting on a duvet cover, which we don't have on the bed or on the couch all that often. For the pillows on the couch, we used four king size pillows. Two of them we already had and two of them we got off of Amazon. We used two Euro pillows, which are 26 by 26, and we used four 18 by 18 inch normal couch pillows. Um, all of the pillow cases came from Amazon and I will link those below. And I will link the king size pillows that we did get off of Amazon uh, below as well. I just wanted to pop back in here to say thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope that you enjoyed watching this Ikea hack um, and turning this day bed into a sofa uh, unfortunately I don't have the money to spend on this be the beautiful cloud sofa that I showed you at the beginning so this was kind of our DIY version of it and I really love it we've had it for about a month now and it's been wonderful to use and it's just opened up like our living room and being able to live in there and do different things in there film in there and and um, be able to spend time with our family in there and it's been a lot nicer than having just a three-seater sofa that we used to have in there so uh, I really hope that you did enjoy this video and if you if you did please subscribe um, I will be posting next week the other half of the living room makeover that we did um, and I'll and if you do want to follow along in my life a little bit more please follow me on Instagram at life of jandy so life of underscore jandy on instagram um, you can see all the behind the scenes and the background of what i'm doing and how i'm doing it and um just welcome i would really appreciate your love and i really hope that you guys have a great start to 2021 thank you so much for watching mm -hmm.